when you're living on the street, especially as a woman, well, and as a man nowadays, you know, you get you come across people that you think are going to help you, and that you they don't help you. They're out to get for themselves. You know, they're sort of strange people. They say, "Will you come and help me, help my wife, or help?" And then you know, you you get in all sorts of situations what you don't want to be in, if you know what I mean. But you you're doing it just to get a shelter. And, you know, if he's running around and staying here, staying there, that's no good for anyone. That don't, especially women. But I've had men sort of come on to me and things like that where they, I thought they were helping me, but they weren't, you know. So that got a bit sort of fiery. So I had to leave and then start there again and... Yeah, I was living in tents, sheds, sofas, <laughs> there, there and everywhere. <laughs> I ended up in hospital in, I think that was October, and I'd give up. I didn't want to live anymore, and I did tell them. I said, I'm being truthful, I've, I've, I've had enough. Do you know what I mean? That was just so hard, I thought, oh, I can't cope, I don't want to carry on anymore. And I had my little dog when she was put to sleep. Because I, I thought, oh, I want to go with her. I did tell them, I said, I'm being truthful, I've, I've, I've had enough. And then they said, would you accept a place in St Martin's? I thought about it for a little while and I said, yes. And really, that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Just yes, say yes, I'll accept something. And I accepted the help and everything and now I'm on the road to recovery. St Martin's has have helped me loads, do you know what I mean? To give me a roof over my head and now a volunteer job. <laughs> but yes, um, this is my safe haven. I've got support 24-7, you know, and the nurses come and, you know, if you're out there on your own, you've got, you know, not a lot of chance really, but in here, you have got a chance, you know, and you feel human again because you can wash, you got a bed, you know, and you got there's a kitchen. You do, you just seem to be that person again. To be truthful, St Martin's is like my family. Truthfully, St Martin's have changed my whole life. Yeah, I I wouldn't be here without them. That's the truth. Honest.